Thank God TFT is back up. Yeah, I played like shit. <laughs> Same. There was at least two rounds where we would definitely would have won if I didn't miss like 10 shots in a row. That wasn't a bad game though. I do think yeah, about the one game, game that was the, super close. I do think about that one round that the guy threw on purpose as a quote unquote joke. And then oh, yeah. I look at the round score and I get kind of sad. But it's that okay. would have been a really good round for him to win. All right, bye, have fun. Yes, I'll see you later. Thanks for joining me. All right, back to TFT. New GM now. Yes, we just hit it. Oh, 220 LP to Masters. Uh, Challenger. All right, so yeah, that was weird. The whole, like, all of the internet went down for like an hour and a half. Well, all the under. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys at the start of this game. Hey, did you know a large percentage of viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel? Please, if you enjoyed watching, consider subscribing to help me support my girlfriend's crippling boba addiction. If you are watching this, odds are I am pooping, eating, or browsing Reddit off camera. If you could just go ahead and smash that like button, leave an essay in the comments, and subscribe to my channel, that'd be pog as heck. But I wouldn't really see it because, well, I'm pooping, eating, or browsing Reddit, but it'd help us expand further, and I would love you even more. Oh, boom back. Thanks for the sub. It's a reroll. Oh, perfect, actually. Holy, that's perfect. This Nidalee is gonna be so woke. Wait, actually. Wait, this Nidalee is actually just so woke. And then it doesn't, like, I don't even get punished for it. I can just sell it later and fix it. Yeah, this is like a super thick Nidalee. Normally, Double Titans is kind of a grief because nobody can really use it while late game. Oh, but this Nidalee, though. Oh, sheesh! I almost lost. <laughs> I've been playing TFT for a while, but suck it. It just started watching you. Any tips? Love the stream, BTW. Three. Right, just play what you want. Tips for TFT are hard to give because it's like, I honestly believe anyone who wants it masters can it masters. But like, it takes a lot of effort. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I. Uh, if you want to hit masters, you can hit masters. It's just like, are you willing to put the time and effort needed in like VOD reviewing and studying meta comps? Like a lot of people play TFT to like play a fun game, which is totally fine. General rules of improvement are just like, identify your mistakes. How do you know if it's a mistake? I mean, you could ask people better than you if it was a mistake, or you can look at where you lost the most amount of HP, which is actually very helpful. If you see that you lose like 50 HP in stage five, it's like, why are you losing 50 HP? Is it because you rolled too hard early game and you got outscaled? Is it because you slammed bad items? Is it because you did your transition too slow? There's a lot of reasons why it might be, and then you can fix it. TFT is like a game of making like thousands of decisions per game, um, thousands of small ones, but like, you can always ask yourself if that decision was actually good. I have so many pairs. I'm not just like hold every pair. Can I make 10? One, two, three, four. I could like sort of make 10 if I drop one pair. Pre-leveling doesn't make that much sense here. Yeah, pre-leveling doesn't make sense. Let's just sell, sell, sell. And then what's my least useful pair? My least useful pair is probably the Skarner. Oh, well, hello, Ace 88 Arg. What does it matter if we can make 10 gold? Uh, one gold snowball is pretty hard early game. Like you think, oh, it's just one gold. That's just like half a roll, but it's more than that. It's like, oh, I can hit 20 gold sooner, which means I can hit 30 gold sooner, which means I can hit 40 gold sooner, which means I can hit 50 gold, which is the ideal state. So like making 10 here is like a pretty big deal. The only reason I wouldn't make 10 is if I really, really thought I was like guaranteed to win streak. If I'm like win streaking and going five, uh, five wins, then I don't care because like the win streak pays for itself. Okay, the best I'm gonna get here is probably a glove. Not only do I need to think about what matches up with this tier, but I also need to think about what matches up with the rest of my items. Glove is good. Belt is good. Uh, chain is good. Even bow is good. Okay, belt. What are your thoughts on Ezreal reroll? It's really strong. I don't like it because it's very contested. I'll only go in if I get like five Ezreals early, but I'll always like, I'll always wait and see if I get five Ezreals, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm just gonna slam this. Just slam it because we got Salvage Bin. I love Salvage Bin. It's like, it's a super fun augment and I think the skill cap is really high. It's so hard to properly use this augment. Even now, like I would say I don't play it perfectly. I don't think anyone does. Box Box, what if it's possible to get win streak and 10 gold? I mean, every game is different. Sometimes you can win streak and have 20 gold, which is like a super high roll. Sometimes you get win streak with zero gold. If I can get a five streak with zero gold, I usually do it. Usually it pays for itself. I wouldn't roll though. If I'm gonna have zero gold, it means I leveled to six to secure my win. Because Nidalee is woke. 
Oh, Almar. Nuno over Tark here. Oh yeah, Nuno over Tark's definitely better. It's fine. This Giga Chad mommy thick dummy Nidalee is just insane. I would look up fan art, but I'm pretty sure she's like by default mostly naked, so I don't want to get banned. Uh, if I'm really cringe, I could level here. Honestly, I think I win. Switch shot, Tempest, Mirage, Shapeshifter. Actually, I think Ash is better. Oh, early Edos. Okay, so I know what the Shimmer Scale item is now, so I don't really need that. Um, extra Song Yone. The Mirage is Spell Sword, which is Deja's best Mirage, which means I could actually play Deja if I hit it. Okay, nice. Five streak plus 20 gold. Also, uh, Mortdog called me. He said, hey, baby, flush. I'm sending you a two star in your next shop. So I will just take whatever two star it is. I hope it's Sejuani, but if it's Leona Tark, it's fine. What's the percent thing at the top? Oh, this thing? It, that is the percent chance that chat's going to spam Pog. Oh my God. Mortdog, you said a two star is coming. I didn't know you meant this one. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Right, I'm definitely selling this Nidalee right now. And then it's like Sun it's Sunfire Nunu for sure. And like Shiva's real or something. Oh my god, it's double Sunfire Nunu. I think I should hold this Olaf. Olaf is so strong that like if you randomly just get a two-star of it, you should play it. Okay, so let's do this. And then a Shiv on Ezreal makes a lot of sense here. And then I guess it's Titans. Titans like pretty whatever on Nunu. Ah, uh, fuck. Honestly, it could be Titans Ezreal. Yeah, I'm, I'm done for Titans Ezreal. Titans Nunu is a little awkward because I might actually keep this Nunu until the end of the game. And Titans just doesn't really work on him. For Nunu, you want like all tank stats. Or if you're going to do an offensive item, it should be like a gunblade. At least if I slam it on Ezreal, I can like uh, move it later and redecide. Oh, this is going to be close, but I think I win. Okay, I definitely should have leveled there. That was a little dumb of me. I don't think double trouble is good here. I don't think I'm ever playing like a three-star unit. Uh, Electro charge is really good right now, but is that what I want? If I do this, I get four gloves. Uh... It's a little unlucky, honestly. Electro charge is really good right this moment, but it would fall off pretty hard later. Assassin, Mirage. Honestly, I'd rather just do this all off a random unit, but. I can put these gloves on him and move it later. I could break these, glove, these gloves apart, but I think these gloves is probably the best variation of it. The stack should work with Morales. No, it does not. That'd be really broken. Okay, I mean, this is like a really weird combination, but it is frontline plus backline, so I'm down. Oh, I almost lost. That was really close. If you sell the gloves, does it turn into two gloves? Yeah, it doesn't like turn into the, the three components. That'd be really weird. What are the best in slot new items? I'm pretty sure it's like Warmog's Gunblade plus like gargoyle or something why wasn't it warmogs plus thorn mail i mean honestly that's a good combination i think sunfire is just really op yeah sunfire is just a really broken item in an ideal perfect state of tft you could play like anything right and it'd, be, it'd all be pretty good but unfortunately the game is not that way the game is definitely like not perfectly balanced and certain things are just like way too good uh sunfire is one of those things right now that is just way too good every patch there will be a few things that are way too good and like i don't blame the tft devs like the truth is it's really hard to balance this kind of thing certain things could be op and just no one's ever tried it Certain things could be OP and like, uh, they don't get figured out for a long time. And it's very hard to make so many different levers, so many different augments and items and units and like have everything be balanced. So yes, point is certain things are really OP. Uh, Sunfire is one of them right now. So you should just know that Sunfire is really important. Like coach Asa will sometimes say, if you don't have anything good on the carousel, just get belt or chain because it increases your odds of getting a Sunfire. The tank stats on are nuts. It's anti-heal and it makes your tank steal damage. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure I need a sword, but there's no sword here. Um, I have a bow tier, bow chain. I need a sword, yeah. Uh, I'll take a Warmogs. Oh, wow. A Talon with Warmogs. But yeah, this set in general, like, healing is very high value. A lot of fights go really also, long. Also, how do you know when to save gold or roll or level up? Because usually I pick something, then roll for them and never get what I want. Do I change or just save? Three semicolon, three semicolon, three anything helps at this point, Lamau. <laughs> Bless me. Thank you for the five dollars. How do you know when to save gold or roll or level up? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like, this is just stuff that you pick up over time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to give you like one paragraph of text that will make you understand this. You just have to like play the game for yourself. No one, no one gets good at TFT like instantly, All right? Like, if you really have to, go look up guides. Like, watching guides is like a little awkward because usually information is kind of outdated. But like, it's it's fine. Honestly, I think the best way to improve in the current. Oh my god, this Nunu just fucking ate her. Wow, I barely win this because my Ezreal is 1 HP. Holy shit, that was way too close. Yeah, if I had to say what the best format of getting better, 
You probably just like watch a streamer and then just like see what they do and then ask yourself, why did they do that? Is it because they're bad and it was the wrong choice? Is it because there's some piece of information that you weren't aware of? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, how badly do I value this, uh, this cane? Assassin synergy, okay, but, oh, I definitely want this Nico. I also definitely want this Twi- Uh, Talon. There is an ass left. Okay. I'm hoping that my Nico blocks the ass left. Oh, thank God. Thank God my Ezreal's safe. That was so close. This thing says I have a 15% chance to win, but if my Ezreal never dies, honestly, I could win. Kill the ass left quickly. Okay, I'm definitely not winning. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's close. Hecarim got his ult off. Sheesh. Okay, it's a 1v1. You can do it. Yes! That was so close. My positioning was so lucky. The the ass left barely didn't notice the Ezreal. Zaya? Okay, I'm down to just gear up for Zaya. I already have like all the units. Uh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so do I have Zaya items? I've got salvage bin, so I have to like really think about it. <laughs> do I have Zaya items? I need a sword. No sword. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I don't think I play Zaya yet. Yeah, I don't think I play Zaya yet. I'm done to just like slam this and then it'll break later. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Five boobas later. Uh, portable Forge is pretty interesting. Celestial Blessing is pretty interesting. I think we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do Forge. I think it's better. It's gotta be Eternal Winter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, if I win, I can sell the right side of my bench. Do you want Eternal Winter on Nico? Uh, it's just going your tankiest unit. So the reason I quickly scouted was because Eternal Winter is so good if they don't have QSS. If they do have QSS, it's pretty useless. So I, I was scouting to count the QSSs. Like, yeah, they might build it later, but the fact that no one has one right now means Eternal Winter is really good right now. And you might be thinking like, why not Triforce? I actually think Triforce, oh. I actually think Triforce is really bad like just low stat value, unless you have someone who can use every single stat in the game. So who is that? That might be like Olaf, because he goes in, so tank stats are good, and he does damage, so damage stats are good. Okay, I should definitely just roll for- Okay, I'm, I might have screwed up. I definitely like didn't scout at all. It's kind of too late for me now. I just got to keep going. Oh wait, I'm trolling. I'm just putting everything on Swain. Uh, and then I'm gonna sell him later. So, I think I trolled because I really should've just kept those items on Ezreal until I was ready. So luckily I have this Swain, but yeah, that was that was pretty greedy. That, that was a misplay in my opinion. I didn't really get much stronger. Okay, let me quickly scout. How many Zayas? I like didn't even realize this, but I'm just like forcing Zaya because the game pushed me in that direction. So I need to count the Zayas. Uh, there was four, four Zayas out. Five if you count mine. I can still hit. Well, hello, Christopher. Nice to see you here. I really need a sword. And if I can't get a sword, I guess a glove. I kind of have like an infinite supply of uh, of gloves right now. Bro, what the hell is my comp right now? <laughs> I'm way too dizzy to play this correctly. I didn't hit Zaya, so I'm just playing a, a two-star shield you with like random scraps of items. But the funny thing is, it's actually working. Yeah, it's actually like really good. Sell the Nikos. No, I feel like Nikos is really good. Uh, if anything, it's sell like this one Twitch. If I'm gonna roll for Zaya too, like, I'll hit a Twitch in the meantime. I only need one. Okay, honestly, I think I just go nine. It's really rare that a game just, like, works out perfectly like this. But, like, yeah, no, my comp is great. It's unusual, but all my units are upgraded except for Talon and Orin and Hecarim. If I hit this Nico, I can sell, like, Hecarim or something. I'd like, uh, Nunu to tank first. Do you wanna go for a three-star Shoyu? I mean, I would always love to go for a three-star, whether or not it's possible. 
It might be. If I win this, it might be possible. But if I don't win this, I'd probably just start selling for Econ. I think this is just a go nine. Like, is a two-star Zaya better than two-star Shoyu? Like, if you have the right items in comp, yeah. But I don't think I have the right items. Oh, fuck. I think I lose. Does my Shoyu beat Aslaf? Maybe? The stun? Stun? Clap? Oh, wow. He does win. Sheesh! Well, hello, ways. Thank you for the $5 donation. I don't know why the text-to-speech didn't trigger. What happened to the gloops? The gloops can go fuck themselves, man. Not interested. All right, uh, I need an odd number of components. Let me roll. Shroud Warmogs. No, I, I need like swords and an odd number of components. Okay, th these items are good. Okay, I think I just take this. Wait, no, I don't. Odd number of components, please, with a sword. Bro. How hard is it? Okay, actually, I'll take these items. I I'm like rolling way too much. Dude, I literally only got an even number of components that entire time. That was so pathetic. Box box, you should have rolled. You have 100 HP. You should have greeted best in slot Zaya. Nah, fuck you, dude. I can play something that isn't Zaya. I already have really good Shoyu too. If I randomly get Zaya, sure, I'm down. That's why I'm holding her. But I'm looking to go nine. I'm gonna just cap out with a bunch of random strong units. Let's be real here. Am I really gonna be upset with Morello's Redemption? No, those are two items. Those are two of the best items I could have gotten here. Yeah, one leftover component, it's fine. Got the Deja. It says here I have a 20% chance to win. Oh no, nothing is attacking my Nunu. That's not good. Oh no, my Shioyu is getting hit first. Oh, this is bad. Come on, Nunu, eat. Oh no, this is so sad. I lost because Shiyu hit my, uh, or Shiyu got hit first. Sag. I should've been careful. What I should've done, oh, three star? Let's go, dude. What I should've done is, uh, since I knew most of the threat units were on the left, I should've done that. Shiyu needs to be the last one alive because he does so much damage. Is Nico three star possible? Honestly, it is. I'm down to hold it. I probably actually just dropped the Zaya at this point. I, uh, one gold that you can't doesn't matter. I'm gonna hold the Zayas. Be right back. 12 boobas late Dale. I'm so amazed at just how good Shiyu is. This is actually like ridiculous. Like, people are already dying. People are already dying. And my Shiryu 2 is still carrying the game. Um, what do I want here? I think it's a BT. I think. It's really hard to, like, do the math. Because we're not just looking at the items. We're looking at what we could sell, uh, get the components of. Okay, I'm down to just level and sit. Actually, no. I, coach, would, coach would be very upset with me if I leveled here. As for these items... Pretty sure we're just putting on Orn and then we'll sell him. We'll sell him and, uh, and move it over to like Yasuo later. BT can just be seen as a survival item. All right, just kill enough units for me to survive. I really don't expect much from the Shioyu. His items are so awkward. Just kill a few for me. Wait, am I gonna win? Hold up. I have one. <laughs> it says I have a 1% win chance. I fucking just won. <laughs> I fucking just straight up won the fight. Are you kidding me? Top four without rolling. Well, actually, I think I rolled a bit at eight. Oh yeah, I, I did roll at eight. I will never underestimate Shoyu again. That's that's a wonderful performance for a like a like, random two star that I just found and like teched in. Like there's literally no synergy here. This guy literally doesn't give me anything other than his like built-in jade. The win chance thing is so off. Uh, it's pretty off for late game, but for early game, it's actually quite accurate. It's really cool. Like, when you see it say 50-50, it actually looks like the fight could have gone either way. It's, it's pretty impressive with how ac accurate it is. I don't think this game's gonna be a first, but I think it could be very easily a second. So I sack this round, then I level. I uh, We go for 2-star Yasuo or 3-star Shioyu. Uh, I think you could play Azaya. I have, a, I have a very low amount of swords. I think I literally only have one sword this entire game. So I could play like a Giant Slayer, Gwinsu's Zaya, but I had to sell a lot of stuff. Ooh, Titans? That's actually great for my Yasuo. I think I'm gonna pre-sell this Orn. It makes me more slightly more likely to hit Orn again later. Uh, and then I know I'm gonna move the items off. Oh, I actually have like, I actually have really good Zaya items if I, if I would get her here. 
I'm gonna hold into the Shen then. Hello, Biosec. Yeah, I actually could play Zaya here. Uh, I have Gwinsu's Giant Slayer. I have to break apart this Titans. Oh, dude, the math is like so dank on um, these items. So let me go ahead and break apart this apart. All right, let's level up. Here's the Twitch I was looking for. Get one Zaya. Okay, wait, this is gonna get super dank. Let me just do these items right now. Gwinsu's Giant Slayer. Um, Redemption Hecarim. Wait, it's actually like super dank. There's just way too many components. Okay, and then uh, is that for last item? I'm down. And then we ask ourselves here if we like the Shio Yu. I, I think once I hit like a two star Yasuo, I'm down to move it. Also, I'm pretty sure the Shio Yu has items that I need for Zaya. Like, I don't remember off the components off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it'll make good items. Oh, I think it'll make a QSS. Okay, let's roll. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's actually like... I'm so dizzy. <laughs> okay, I need to fix my itemization. I also need to roll down a zero like right now. Oh, right, frozen heart, okay. Okay, if I want to, I can sell Nico. I can sell Nico for Orn if I feel like that's better. So the difference between Nico and Orn is that Nico stuns in a circle around her. Orn stuns in a, like a far away line. So you ask yourself what matters more. I think in this case, it's the faraway line. So once I get, ooh, cutscene. Oh okay, yeah, and Tempest. This is interesting. So I take this, I break it apart, and then I get a Rage Wing spat, and now I can play Orn and Nico by playing like Rage Wing Talon. That's really interesting. Wow, now I get the best of both worlds. Holy shit, okay. All right, this is Revel Deja. It's a really overpowered interaction, so I think I lose. We can see. I, I have a really capped board. As long as my Kiana gets on her ass, on her ass, on his ass, uh, I don't think this unit is useful to me anymore. Bruiser Rage Wing, but I think I'd rather have the Cavalier. What am I looking for exactly? I guess Orn. I think he's gonna move last second, so I'll just randomly swap last second as well. Nice. Got that frozen heart on him. So Zaya heals the full at the end of it, all of her ults because of Omni Vamp. So as long as she doesn't get one shot before that, I should be winning this. You don't have Cavalier Trait active. Yeah, I know, but Hecarim's still just a good unit. Big AoE CC, very tanky. I guess Shen's like equally tanky. Arguably more tanky because he gives Bruiser. Uh, this gives me Glove and a Rod. Okay, I'll make a Spark. Dude, honestly, like a lot of times when I get first place, I feel like it was just really lucky. You just like high roll till you win. But this game, holy shit, I really feel like I earned it. The amount of math I did with Salvage Bin was actually ridiculous. All right, let's just roll for Orn, maybe Yasuo. Hi, my name is Zopi. Up, 
I think he's gonna stay on the left side. Oh, I got juked. Jucked. Hello. Oh, it's okay, because Talon, when he ults, he's gonna jump to the Deja. Haha! -ha. Haha! Talon's so smart. Dies a cutscene. Oh, that's actually sick. Holy shit. Salvage bin is actually so insane. Like, the ceiling of that augment is ridiculous. It reminds me of Think Fast, where, like, if you are just, like, a perfect player, it's probably the best augment in the game. I feel like I played it pretty well, and there was still a bunch of optimizations to make. It's just, like, hard to, like, remember that you have the augment. But it, what you have to do is you have to, like, keep a mental tally of all of your components, and then you have to use that to figure out who's playable. 